It has been a super crazy week over here. My day job has been really busy. We got a puppy and my husband has been out of town for the last two days. <laughs> so <laughs> I've gotten almost nothing done is what it feels like. But at the moment, my daughter is reading um, cardboard books to the dog and they are being happy. So I'm going to see if I can finally finish up this cur um, this te testing. Wow, I'm butchering this. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can finally finish up pattern testing. Um, I've, let's see if you can see. So I've got the head shape done. I had smaller safety eyes than, um, well actually there wasn't the size recommended, but I just used the ones I had. They look a little bit beady, a little bit like Arthur without his glasses on. So I probably should have gone a size up, but I didn't have any. But I've got that done. I've got the body done and I have the arms done. Um, <clears throat> so I just have to make the ears and the legs and assemble. And I just want to get that done so I can mark it off the list and uh, actually make some progress on the otter because that has just been sitting on a shelf all week. So hi vlog, today is Saturday morning. Um, I finished the rabbit legs last night, so the last thing I have to do is the ears. So I'm working on that now, and I'm really hoping I'll be done with this soon so I can work on the otter. Well, I just finished testing Carlotta the Bunny by Woolly Animals. The actual name is Annika, she's from Germany, and I just pulled a cake out of the oven. So I'm getting things done all over the place. <laughs> it's my husband's birthday. Um, that's the reason for the cake. Not that you really need a reason to eat cake, but you know. So now that I've got the bunny done, um, and I've sent her my thoughts and my review of the pattern, I am going to start assembling, I think, the face of the otter. All right, folks, well, change of plans. I just got a call from my husband. He's going to be back earlier than he planned, which I'm excited for, but that also means I don't have as much time to work on my stuff and I need to go ice the cake. So this is all I've gotten done. I almost have the nose on, or the snout. So you can see, I haven't attached up here yet because that's where I'm going to stuff it. And then the nose is going to sit right there. Um, I did I did change the snout from the one I had last week. I wanted to have a little bit of brown on the top, so so that was the big change there. Um, I do have the ears made. Um, I didn't have those made last week, so those will be going on here soon. Um, and then an update on the crochet along, how that's going. Um, I think it's going well. I've had positive feedback so far. <laughs> Still learning, so you know it's always interesting. Um, but right now, geez. There we go. So right now this is, got the nylon hanging out, but we're beginning to stuff the snowy owl and uh, it's it's starting to come, come along pretty good. So it was kind of a crazy week. Um, I don't know if I've shown you guys the puppy yet. She's made it especially crazy. One second, I'll, I'll flip the camera around and show you. So this is Athena. She's my husband's dog. Well, she's the family dog, but he's going to be, he's going to be head honcho. Anyway, she, this is right outside my little like crochet space and she just fell asleep waiting for me to come out. She's a sweetie. So Athena is a Great Pyrenees blue tick coon hound mix, um, or I guess cross and she just looks like a lab. So it'll be really inter interesting to see what she looks like as she grows up. We are excited to have her though. She's, she's a pretty sweet puppy. Still a puppy though. So we're, you know, potty training and trying to get her to not bite. 
which is interesting. Um, <clears throat> but overall, it's been a good week. I'm looking forward to getting more stuff done next week. Now that I have the uh, pattern testing done, that, that frees up my plate to work on some other things. So I'm, I'm excited to, to work on my crocheting. I love it. I've kind of missed it. <laughs> so anyway, I hope you have a lovely week and I'll talk to you again soon.